49. Time for the rules with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Victor Ortiz. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He steps in wearing red trunks trimmed in white. He weighed in at the super lightweight limit of 140 pounds. As a professional, he maintains an impressive record consisting of 25 victories against only one defeat, with 24 of his victories coming by way of knockout. De Margarita, Santa Fe, Argentina, Marcos, El Chino. His opponent across the ring in the red corner. He steps in clad in green trunks with white trim. He tipped the scales at 139 and three quarter pounds. As a professional, it's one defeat, one draw, and 19 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Puro Oxnard, California. Vicious. Victor. Everything about Victor Ortiz's professional career says, are we going to still be saying he be true? He was a headliner for anything is when he sang Old Christmas Tree at a school play in the so I would have thought that if he comes out, he could, if he got taken by Ortiz, he would be hurt early because he's very nervous, but the way he's fighting. <laughs> Ten first round knockouts for Maidana. Remember, 19 of his bouts have happened. Great left from Ortiz, then shoots left to the body. Good yeah. left hand by Maidana. The right now is right in the left hook that he's. He seems to be steady and trying to figure him out. Even that he landed a right and a left combination. Counter right, and then Ortiz drops Maidana. Ortiz gets dropped from a big right hand. And his legs are very shaky. He seems to be the worst for worse. He needs to, he needs to hold, or this could be very bad news for Ortiz. Ortiz was down in the Asalas fight back last year. Got up and finished, he's in trouble. Can Maidana finish him? Ortiz short left. Both guys are punching. What a round one. Both men have been down. But I think that's smart to try to smother this guy and not give him any space while he's hurt. Final seconds of round one. And every push this round has been a power. What a round! Come up. Come up. You've got to come up. Here you see the first knockdowns coming in from Madonna was coming in caught with a right hook that he didn't see because he was oh, delivering see. his own. Madonna landed a short straight right hand. <laughs> one each man was down in round number one. And both men, particularly Ortiz, got downs. But when it looked like their nights might be over. But, but uh, Madonna seems to be a little bit slower oh, still. Than start. Well, there's not too much more he can do except what he's doing. I would tell you, if you do get hurt, tie him up. Don't try to cover up. But Madonna has got nothing to lose. All he can do is just do what he's doing. Just come out and brawl and hope that he can land the shot out of speed. There's that right, looping yeah. right hand. That's what he's got to do. Ortiz that time dipped away from him. Neither man is really bothered with a jab. All power shots. Good what left hand to body. What jab? Exactly. <laughs> so just keeping the jab count tonight, they would have an easy job. Another jab and try to set something up. Yep. No one is shooting any jab. Everything is a power shot here. Madonna walked into a shot. They look like their heads even. Right hook to the body by Ortiz. Ortiz trying to load up a power shot. Madonna counter right. Hey, quick. Here comes Ortiz trying to finish it here in round two. He's got power with 10 seconds to go. Steps in with the left. Hooks to the body. Madonna trying to fight back. 
He goes down again. Cannot be saved by the bell in round. He's up and he's getting his count. Oscar De La Hoya is motioning. Straight up your leg. Straight up your arm. Gino. Slowly, slowly, bend your waist. He's throwing the wrong punches. Go under it. Yeah. Up. Here you go, you see the knockdown. And the knockdowns are always coming because both guys are so aggressive that they're going in with no mindset on defense. There's knockdowns, not off balance. According to Copy Box or Team. Yeah, you know, he's, he's got to respect the punching power of the other guy. Another guy doesn't have that many of us boxers and not get too careless. Good right hand, though, by my dog. Ortiz made a few moves that looked a little defensive from long range. Got hit right on the chops by a good right hand. But responds, you see. That shot hurt Ortiz. And has no fear because of experiences they've had in there. Eight brothers and sisters. Well, Maidana just. And we've seen him down and badly hurt in this fight, albeit against a good puncher. Yeah, that goes back to his life. Fought at his time. Yeah. The, the punches of Madonna's getting slow and wider now. Even though he's punching with a lot of power. At this point, Ortiz yeah, can see his punches and kind of adjust and prepare for him a little better. We get set for this. We get ready for round number four with Ortiz and Maidana underway. Here's our Ortiz. Ortiz. Bob, the first round, I gotta tell you, you had to score a 10 to 10. I mean, there just wasn't the winner. Both guys scored no advantage to either guy. In round two, Victor Ortiz had a 10 7 round. Maidana, meanwhile, though, he has not been broken. He's still in there trying to win. He's not just riding out the, the, the rabbit punches, semi rabbit punches when those guys get caught. One guy will be holding one guy's arm and hit him with a powerful shot right on the back. You know, Maidana got dropped in the first round and twice in the second. He hadn't been down but once in his career. That was back in. No, he hasn't fought that way. No, nope, no, no. He's got up and fought just opposite. You know, I was really wondering why you didn't utilize that. And, and, and I think that would change the whole fight. To some degree, and then he would be able to land. The way it's going now, anyone can catch anyone the way these two guys are fighting. According to Copy Box, the two have landed a combined three jab out of a possible 48 thrown. The swelling under the left eye of Maidana. End of the fourth. We practice it in the gym, Victor. Practice a lot. React. Fifth round is coming up. Gino, Gino. Hey, have we seen maybe you know a little inexperience at times where you said get that jab going a little bit, don't play for just the big shots where he kind of drifts away from the game plan? Well, he's been fighting there, you know just. I just think he needs to box a little bit more because he's still a much more accurate punch at this time. Great fighters and championship fighters is that when they get personality, maybe not always the best idea against a puncher like Maidana. Oh, T's doubled up. Maidana cautioned again for that punching behind the head, that rabbit punch. Those are not no light punches. Those are some very... Donna chasing Ortiz, yeah, shot an uppercut inside. Ortiz quit fight. He actually was moving like a boxer without boxing. They exchange big shots and then hold on. Now they try to fight out of it. Ortiz is cut. Oh, wow. The way these guys are going, anybody can go down. These are, are nuclear shots these two are throwing. Coming, even though he was cut himself with a slight cut, now he's going to get more energy now. Now the question is going to be, is that cut from a punch of heads? That's a good point, because the heads were colliding as, as well as they were punching. Because if, it, if this fight heads, they would go to the scorecards. If it gets stopped because that cut worsens and it was ruled from a punch, he's going to continue later on in the fight because of that cut. Key point. Good shot by Maidan. Right up the middle. Oh, big right hand by Maidana. Maidana cannot do it. 
Victor, how are you feeling? You're bringing down your guard. What's wrong, Victor? Come on, Victor, react. React, I'm going to stop it. Okay. No doubt about it. It was definitely not a but. See Madonna come in here and throw a right hand once again, right on the other. Could have cut his other high, in fact. So a punch, and Maidana comes right out to start round number six. Yeah, Maidana is going, or he's not going to win this fight. I mean, he pulls back. Maidana's oh. figured out he can't miss with the right hand, and he won't stop throwing it. Ortiz is in, and he goes down. Three, four, five. You okay, son? Come here. Oh, it looks like Ortiz is too bad. Let's stop it. They're gonna stop it because of that cut. What a fight. We just saw a moment in a fighter's career that could define his career. Faced with an opponent who refused to lose, and in a moment of weakness, gave up. He didn't make a gallant effort, Ortiz. But in boxing to be great than in any other sport, more is required than is really reasonable. And Ortiz live to regret. The jubilation in the Marcos Maidana camp exploited the eye, the chin, and the face of Victor Ortiz. Ortiz. This is in round number six. Maidana just well, jumping in with punches. Well, he, he took advantage of the situation. And, you know, it just this is what happens in our sport. In other sports, you can say timeout, you're cut, or you're having a problem with a style. Some other player go in. Marcos El Chino. Marcos Maidana has stopped Victor Ortiz at 46 seconds of round number six. The cut.